What's up you guys? My name's Alec J. Fisher. Welcome back to another adventure vlog. All right, you guys, so Owen and I, my little brother, we're here next to the San Gabriel River. We got some rock faces behind us, but as we hike farther down, it should turn into more of a little shore. And it's a little exploration of some urban nature. I mean, we aren't too far from civilization. It's a lot closer than you might think. So let's get hiking. Another turtle. Way down there, little black spot. Ooh, there's a turtle. There he goes. That's cool. Alrighty guys, so we have found the shoreline now. Seems to have flattened out a bit as you can see. It is no longer the rocky face is like it was, now it's a lot more smaller pebbles. And the cool thing about this little area is that Texas used to be under the ocean at one point, and as rivers like this kind of wash into the rock faces, it brings out a lot of little stones, and with those stones come fossils. So we'll see if we can't find a few little fossils here and there. So here's some evidence of the time period when Texas was submerged. These I find quite often along rivers. This is an oyster fossil. It's the top half of it, so you can find the bottom halves as well. And then here's the bottom section. Now obviously these two don't fit together properly because the bottom section is a lot larger, but that's what it would have looked like as they close on top of each other. Here are lots more little oysters. There's a larger one, a teeny tiny one. I mean look at these things, they're all over the place. Here's a pretty cool one compared to these usually smooth ones. This one's got a lot of little ridges on it. That's the first time I've seen something like that. And look at that, right there, there's another fossil. Evidence of little snails that once roamed the ocean floor. Such, such cool little things. Just gotta take a closer look. Here's another little mollusk. Looks to be a clam. So as I'm sifting through these rocks, finding all these little fossils and stuff, and I found one that I've never found before. Pretty sure this is a little sea urchin. Kinda like the ones that I'd found in South Africa, but this one appears to be fossilized. So you can see, but that's pretty cool. That's a new one. You guys can probably hear the noise of the traffic nearby because we really aren't that far from civilization at all. But it is just so peaceful out here tonight. And it is gorgeous. Walking along picking up little pieces of wood and clamshells and stuff here and there because I'm working on a few different projects. But yeah, this is such a treat. I mean look at that giant rock face right there. It's insane. Sun's going down. Tons of little fish swimming around in there, turtles, all sorts of cool stuff. But I'm gonna keep on moving, see what else I can find before it gets too dark. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. Down here, some little evidence of raccoons, it looks like, coming down to get drinks of water. Their little fingers, you can see, all separated. Look at this stuff, it's like quicksand. There's bubbles coming out everywhere. Whoa! <laughs> Doesn't smell great either. As you walk along these shores, these little frogs go jumping into the river. As you can see, there's one here. I'm gonna get some underwater shots for you guys. But they're real cute, and at night you can hear them chirping along the, along the shoreline. So we're down by the rapids now, as you can hear behind us. But 
these little plants and all these rocks are so cool. We'll walk along and see all the vegetation growing out. If you've ever been to Texas or surrounding states, you've probably seen these little things hanging on the trees. A lot of people think they're parasitic, but they aren't. They just hang onto the trees and feed off of nutrients of the air and eventually fall off when the branch breaks. So they're cool little guys, remind me of bird's nests. Here it looks like there's actually some dewberry plants. These guys grow in vines, they've got little thorns all over them. But though they are a bit of a nuisance when you're walking around in the woods, when they finally come to bloom and turn into berries, they're like little compound berries, kind of like blackberries and raspberries, they're actually real delicious. During the summer, when it's warm, I come swimming here and I swim along these rock faces here. And the cool thing about all the little crevices is that I could stick my hands into the crevices and grab little fish, pull out little sunfish. I just corner them. It's like noodling without having to stick your fist down a catfish's mouth. It's a lot of fun. Here's a little natural reef. All these little sunfish around it. Those are the type of guys that I would catch with my hands. Oh, I almost fell in. <laughs> you guys so I've climbed up this tree there's Owen way down there as you can see the sun is going down and it's time for me to head back home but I hope you enjoy this mini adventure vlog I had a lot of fun filming it so thanks for watching and until next time no that's not right thanks for watching and ta-ta